Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel Hiya Mathematics. In this video we're going to solve this really interesting, relaxing, tricky and I would say quick question. We have 2 to the power n minus 2 to the power n equal to 4080. So how can we solve this question? I think a lot of you maybe know this roots rate here, but in math we're interested in solution. We cannot like write m equal to for example 2 n equal to 1. Yeah, we cannot do this because we need to solve it correctly and according to math rules, according to math properties, so let's try to let's try to solve it. First of all, I want to mention that m is greater than n. This is the first obvious step because we have a positive expression on the right hand side. So this at m is greater than n and as well 2 to the power m is greater than 2 to the power n because we have a positive number right here. So this is, is, this is greater. Because for example if we have 2 to the power 4 minus 2 to the power 3 so something like that. Then we have 16 minus 8, which is positive. Yeah. So if we have positive, then 4 is greater than 3. So this is our first step. But if we have like 2 to the power 3 minus 2 to the power 4 equal to 8 minus 16. So we have minus 8. So this is my explanation why m in is greater than n. If positive on the right hand side, then this power is greater than this one. So I hope you I hope you understand this step. So let's go to the first steps. I wanted to rewrite this question once more right here. So we have 2 to the power m minus 2 to the power n equal to 4080. There are a lot of different methods, but I want to show you the best methods, a uh, quick and great method. First of all, let's try to factor this 2 to the power n from this uh, expression. So we have 2 to the power n and in parentheses we have 2 to the power m minus n because we factor in it and minus 1 equal to 4080. Okay, so right now, for example, let's go with substitution. So 2 to the power uh, m minus n, let's go with the substitution. So m minus n, for example, equal to 2 to the power t. So m minus n equal to t. Let's go with the substitution real quick. So we have minus 1 right here. We have 2 to the power n. So I just substitute this my m minus n equal to 4080. Okay. Right now, this is even number. I just take my, my red pen real quick. So this is even number. So we can easily factor it. For example, imagine we have this 480. Let's divide this number by, by 2. So we have 2040 divided one, once more by 2. We have 1020 divided by 2. We have 510 divided by 2 and 255. So this is our odd number. So our final expression so it will be correct when we write this as 245 times. So we have like 245 times we have 2 to the power 2 to the power 4 times 2 to the power 4. Okay, I hope you understand this step. We just write it as a, as a product. So let's write it once more right here. So we have 2 to the power n times 2 to the power t minus 1 and equal to, as I told before, we just factor this 4080. So we can easily write it as 2 to the power 4 times 255. Okay, right now let's look closely to this expression. So take a look. We have two to the power to the thumb power n. We don't n. We don't know about this power, and we have two to the fourth power. So we can easily see that this is like the same expressions on the left and on the right hand side. Two to the power n and two to the power four. So we can easily write an equation with these expressions. We have two to the power n equal to two to the power four, and from here n n equal to n equal to four. This is our first really important, really important steps. But as you can see in our minds, we just cancelled this 2 to the n and 2 to the 4, but we still have this expression 2 to the power t minus 1 and 255. So we need to solve this completely. Yeah. So we have 2 to the power t minus 1 equal to 255. From here we have 2 to the power t equal to 256 and this is like a general case this is like a common case so we have 2 to the power t equal to 2 to the 8th power and we can easily say that our t t equal to t equal to 8 but this is our t we don't need t we need m and n but we had a substitution so m minus n equal to t so we have m m minus n equal to t and from here let's go we know n we know t so we have m minus n this is 4 equal to t equal to 8 and from here our m equal to of course equal to equal to 12. Okay looks like we solved this question let's try to check it so right now we know our, our roots right here so we have that our m equal to 12 
our m equal to 12 and our n equal to equal to 4. Let's check these roots real quick right here. Let's check these roots right here. So we have 2 to the power 12 minus 2 to the fourth power. Let's look at it. 2 to the power 12 equal to uh, 4096. Yeah, looks like that. Minus 2 to the fourth equal to equal to 16. So we have 4080. As completely the same as I told as I told before. So we just check these roots and we can easily write our answer. I will write our answer right here. So we have answer m equal to 12 and n equal to n equal to 4. So this is my explanation to this question. I hope you understand this solution, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. I wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.